Hello everyone and welcome to today's No FOMO Charts Stock Market Video Idea. Today is April 14, 2024, just about 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on a Sunday in the USA. Let's get started with stocks. We're just going to do three or four stock market indexes and end the video. So just very quickly, S&P 500 has been in an uptrend since October 2023, except now we're in earnings season. We're starting to see a bit of a breakdown occurring with the loss of support out of the rising wedge pattern. And be careful that this doesn't turn into a head and shoulders, which is bearish. If that is true, this could turn into a negative 3% downtrend over time, taking us to about the 236 level, about 494, which is close enough to 100 EMA. And so if that happens, we want to see it make a clean downtrend. In the day trading time frames, yes, we might make a lower high bounce. If earnings are bad enough, it should take us down. However, if we have a group of really good earnings for the next one or two weeks, then this could actually reverse as well. The data is so important. However, on a weekly chart, we did have that evening star bearish pattern. And yes, military, global conflict, war, sticky inflation data and earnings all had an effect on the volatility this week and this month. Going to QQQ, we had the triple top just below 448 also fell out of consolidating out of this rising wedge pattern as well. So we're still in the golden cross. However, it's starting to go sideways. If it turns into a head and shoulders, which is bearish, that could also fall about 3.6%, which would bring us back down to about the 419 level, which happens to be another 100 EMA and the 236 Fibonacci level. However, we have not established a strong downtrend on the Qs, NASDAQ, so just watch out for that. The weekly, we had this double top, which is why we're hesitating. There's quite a bit of support space on the downside if earnings are bad. Dow Jones is a different story. On the line chart, you can see we already had the double top M here, rejected below 400, and a clear downtrend all the way down to 23600 EMA level, which is about $380. Now, it's getting oversold in these shorter term time frames. Yes, the death cross on the EMAs is down, but the RSI, if you see here, is starting to build up a little bit of momentum on the MACD histogram as well. So we need to, we need to establish a level of support around 380 or in the 370s, try to establish that level of support, and bulls are going to try to bounce it before a, a longer term downtrend that's possible. On the weekly, we had the evening star bearish pattern, triple candle pattern, which is why it was such an easy short. And we also are seeing overbought levels starting to come down. We had that loss of momentum for about four months now, something to watch out for. Just keep in mind in the long term. IWM Russell 2000 still in the uptrend, but just fell out barely. We had this double top previously in the middle of March, and the price is turning into a downtrend on the price. RSI on the daily is still a little less, less than neutral at 40. The weekly looks like we had, yes, a little bit of a sideways looking evening star bearish pattern. So watch out for all the support level down below and it's earnings dependent as well. The last symbol we'll do today is DXY. This sometimes has an inverse correlation with the S&P 500 and the markets. So we can see clearly we have a golden cross starting to act like a, a risk safe risk off asset in terms of this upside down head and shoulders with the neckline breakout retest of the emas and this support level trend line just like gold is what i'm saying higher high higher low higher high higher low so if it's going to try to target 107 that could be the bullish target on the upside bearish target 105 to the downside just keep in mind earnings global news news about military conflicts around the world inflation data and the FOMC and the U.S. government news all has an effect on the stock market volatility. Just understand that we have been uptrending for six months, getting a little bit overbought. The last indicator I'll show just very quickly, just some food for thought here. On Bollinger Bands, on Bollinger Bands, we did pierce out of the Bollinger Band in March for S&P 500 on a monthly chart. 
and the Dow Jones as well. So that's another reason why we're pulling back. We just got a little bit overextended, too much too fast. Let's establish a level of support and hopefully it's not gonna turn into a downtrend long-term this year. Thank you so much everybody for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and follow me on TradingView, YouTube, and X. Hit that like button, cheer, boost. If you have a question, go ahead and ask me in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Happy trading.